what do we need to do to get people in power to take things like space exploration this seriously once again? What oh, do you think well, the two to? easy ways. One of them is we go to war with China because they want to put military bases on Mars. Oh, I guess we have to go to Mars. And then we go to Mars because it's a military project, as was the entire founding of NASA. Uh, you, so Method to, one, go to war with China. Yeah, yeah, that, that would happen. Oh, no, so another way, so I joke about this, you go to China and say, could you please, go to the head of China and say, could you please leak a memo that says you want to put military bases on Mars? Just leak one. It doesn't have to be true. Just leak a memo. Then we're on Mars in 10 months. <laughs> yeah. Elon, <laughs> we're, get after We're on it, Mars buddy. in 10 months. Um, so, uh, of course, I presume most, if not all people, don't want this to happen as the consequence of a military engagement. I'm simply being frank and saying that's how we went to the moon. That's how we light a fire under butts. To Correct. Get to, to get, that's to get how and why we went to the moon, even though we've cleansed that memory as well. You go to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, there's a bust of JFK, and there's a whole granite wall behind him. And chiseled into the granite is this famous line from his speech, you know, I pledge, or whatever it is, that we will put a man on the moon and return him safely to the Earth. And, you know, I can hear his voice as I read those words, and it's, stir it's stirring. What they left out, and there's plenty of room on this granite wall to have included it, of that same speech, he says the following, if the events of recent weeks, this is almost verbatim, I'm probably paraphrasing a little, because the speech he gave six weeks after Yuri Gagarin had come out of orbit, nice. we didn't yet have a spacecraft that wouldn't explode, much less a, 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 a spacecraft worthy of putting a human being in it. It would still be the next year before John Glenn would fly, after many failed experiments with our rockets. So. In that same speech, a few paragraphs earlier, he says, if the events of e recent weeks wouldn't utter the man's name, Yuri Gagarin, if the events of recent weeks are any indication of the impact of this adventure of the minds of men everywhere, then we need to show the world the path of freedom over the path of tyranny. It was a battle cry against oh, communism. Man. Once you say that, nothing else matters in the speech. We can cherry pick it and put it on granite and make and say to ourselves that we were explorers and discoverers and we're Americans, and, but that's not the reality of how that stuff went down. And uh, when you feel threatened, money flows like rivers. But I would say, and I wrote this in a whole other book, not this current one, that there's another way to do it. And one of the great drivers of investment is economics, the promise of economic return. So. If, if you can construct our <clears throat> exploration of space as something that ultimately pumps the economy, then it would be trivial to justify doing so. And when I say pumping the economy, I'm not talking about spin-offs or any of the traditional. It will be, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about <clears throat> a cultural shift, a firmware upgrade in our mind, body, and soul related to how we value exploration, innovation, and discovery. When you go into space in a big way, you have to invent stuff. Patents get awarded. Records are set. Headlines are written. And it reaches us in all of our social fabric, especially in the K through 12 pipeline. So e economically, we go into space. It could be transformative on our civilization, certainly on the American culture and possibly the entire civilization. Unless you have some other more potent way to do it. I'm, I'm all ears. Yeah, well, I, hopefully in the near future we'll see a resurgence in this. Because this Could, stuff that... You, you began by saying we, by re-reciting that we sleep on our backs and we look up and wonder about the night sky. So space exploration, I think, is there's a little piece of that in everyone. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I invite you to click the link in the description. For more awesome interviews with incredibly fascinating people or inside knowledge from the best in influence, persuasion, negotiation, and nonverbal communication, please hit that subscribe button.